At the most remote point reached by a human artifact is NASA's iconic Voyager 1 spacecraft navigating the vast interstellar space. This impressive space probe has managed to reach interstellar space, being the first of its kind to do so. Imagine a spacecraft launched 45 years ago that continues to explore unexpected regions long after its expected lifetime. This bold NASA mission is redefining space exploration. Amazingly, the ship is billions of miles from its starting point and still transmitting data using technology older than a cassette player. But that is not all. This pioneering mission recently revealed a terrifying discovery that has excited the scientific community and captured worldwide attention. What could have been this chilling discovery in the last frontier and what implications will it have for us on Earth? It was a historic moment when two impressive spacecraft lifted off, marking the dawn of space exploration. In 1965, Gary Flandro, a brilliant scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, faced the daunting task of charting the optimal path for a space probe to reach the distant giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. With a simple pencil, a prized tool of 20th century engineers, Flandro made a shocking discovery. He realized that in the late 1970s and early 1980s the four gas giants would align in a cosmic dance forming a celestial necklace with Earth. This unique phenomenon meant that a spacecraft passing close to each planet could get a speed boost from its gravitational pull, as if it were being pulled by an invisible string. Flandro calculated a trip from Earth to Neptune that would normally take 30 years, but could be done in as little as 12 years thanks to these gravity assists. However, there was a problem. This alignment only happens once every 176 years. Determined not to miss this extraordinary opportunity, NASA acted quickly. In just 15 days, they launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, in the summer of 1977, with the goal of making the most of this cosmic alignment. Little did they know that these twin rovers would break all records in the history of space missions. The two spacecraft launched more than 45 years ago are still operational and sending groundbreaking data from the far reaches of our solar system. They have broken records and explored beyond imagination with amazing discoveries on the moons of Jupiter and Saturn that defied our expectations. Voyager 2 reached Uranus in 1986 and Neptune just three years later, the only spacecraft to explore that far, more than 14 billion miles away. These Volkswagen Beetle-sized space pioneers continue to push our boundaries, with margins of error measured in minutes and multiple attempts to achieve it. The first leg of their journey to Jupiter took them ten times farther from Earth than Mercury, and they had to navigate through the dangerous asteroid belt, a subject of much debate and speculation. Previously, in the 1970s, Pioneer 10 and 11 made their way through the supposedly dense asteroid belt without damage, paving the way for them. But Voyager's challenges didn't end there. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, equivalent to a fraction of the capacity of a smartphone. Voyager's computers had to rely on onboard intelligence to manage the complexity of their journey. Data collected by onboard instruments was stored on eight track tape recorders before being transmitted back to Earth via a modest 23-watt transmitter, about the power of a refrigerator light bulb. Equipped with 12-foot-wide satellite dishes, Voyagers used radio communication traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages. However, its immense distance from Earth, advancing three to four light seconds each day, presented challenges in maintaining the connection. Signals from Voyager 2 were taking more than 18 hours to reach us, and increasing interference from terrestrial noise, including radios, televisions, cell phones, and more made it increasingly difficult to hear the whispers of fate coming from the spacecraft. Despite these obstacles, voyagers defied the odds and continued to surprise astronomers with unexpected discoveries in the interstellar vacuum. Their journey has rewritten our cosmic manual, altered our understanding of the unknown realms of space. 
far beyond our solar system lies the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a celestial gathering of comet-like entities held together by the Sun's gravitational pull, extending halfway to the nearest star. It remains a distant realm that the voyagers are slowly but steadily getting closer to. However, interstellar space, where solar wind phenomena have their place, is a more accessible front. This is where the heliopause, the border between our solar system and interstellar space, ushers in uncharted territory. Initially, estimates of the distance of the heliopause before the Voyager and Voyager 2 waves reached it were inconsistent. But assuming it was around 50 astronomical units, oh, mission funding was increased. However, when the spacecraft moved away from this landmark, the expected signs of interstellar transit were not detected, leaving scientists stumped. One of the early indicators of crossing into interstellar space was an abrupt increase in galactic cosmic rays. High-energy particles ejected by supernovae and other cosmic catastrophes at near the speed of light. However, most low-energy cosmic rays are deflected by the massive magnetic shield created by the heliosphere, which protects our inner solar system from most external threats. The Voyager team was also watching for any changes in the prevailing magnetic field as the spacecraft moved deeper into the interstellar medium made up of ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars. It was expected to have a different magnetic field orientation compared to the heliosphere. However, voyagers reported no such disturbances, adding to the mystery. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause and transmitted intriguing data and confirmed the expected increase in plasma density. There was no indication of a change in the direction of the ambient magnetic fields. This was unexpected, since it was assumed that a change in the direction of the magnetic field would occur when transitioning from a region where the sun's magnetic field prevailed to one influenced by other stars. In November 2018, Voyager 2 embarked on an extraordinary journey towards the interstellar coast, reaching the heliopause, the frontier of our solar system. 120 astronomical units, oh, from Earth, the same distance reached by its twin six years earlier. But what puzzled scientists was that Voyager 2 detected no changes in the magnetic field, based on theoretical models, adding another conundrum to the mix. According to predictions, the heliosphere influenced by the 11-year solar cycle should have decreased and increased just like the solar wind. However, None of the existing models could explain this discrepancy, as the solar wind was at its strongest when Voyager 2 arrived, suggesting that the heliopause should have been further than 120. As Voyager waves travel deeper into the interstellar medium, their data reveals intriguing changes on the scale near the heliopause, influenced by heliosphere interactions. However, on a large scale, the magnetic field shows negligible variation. This raises questions about whether spacecraft will eventually leave these turbulent shorelines behind and encounter the true interstellar magnetic field, or whether the current understanding of the simulation is completely wrong. Some academics speculate that voyagers are still within the heliosphere, while others are convinced by the significant increase in galactic cosmic rays and plasma density detected by the probes which points to the majority view. Solving one of the most fundamental puzzles about the heliosphere is like trying to see an aquarium from a fish's perspective. We need an interstellar probe to shed light on it. The Voyager probes are leading examples of human exploration and scientific achievement. Despite being powered by outdated technology, they have defied expectations and continue to function providing valuable data and information about our solar system and beyond. The fact that these probes rely on 50-year-old technology demonstrates the ingenuity and durability of their design. With minimal software and robust systems, voyagers have succeeded in pushing the boundaries of our understanding, making amazing discoveries in uncharted territory. The depowering of the probes poses a challenge but NASA has been resourceful in managing its operations. 
turning off certain instruments and prioritizing power usage allows missions to continue. It is truly remarkable how some instruments, such as the cosmic ray detector, have exceeded their proven limits and continue to function under extreme conditions. Looking to the future, the scientists hope to extend the missions of the probes up to 20 years. The availability of energy will be a determining factor in its longevity. However, even beyond that, the probes will continue their trajectory through space for thousands of years. Surviving our sun and heliosphere, they could even pass by neighboring stars and continue to orbit the galaxy for millions of years. In the end, the probes could become silent witnesses to our existence, carrying with them a record of humanity. They are a testament to our curiosity, exploration, and scientific progress. The saga of the probes is a source of inspiration, reminding us of the vastness of the universe and the enduring spirit of human exploration.